Dad keeps saying he's sorry all the time. It's weird. Wilcox. You're new in town, aren't you? That means I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Is it? Or are you just saying that? See? I work for the Freestar Rangers. I'm the first ever Ranger Surveillance Assistant. And that's not some dumb made-up title. Ranger Emma Wilcox gave it to me. So it's official. That's right. She's a senior ranger, which means she's in charge of me and all the other rangers. Well, except Diego, because he's a senior ranger too. Oh, and the marshal. He's in charge of all the rangers. I'm the best ranger surveillance assistant that ever lived. Someday, I'll teach other kids the tricks of the trade. Gotta prepare the next generation, because I won't be here forever. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna be a law-abiding citizen? Or are you gonna be on my list? That's the right answer. I just hope you mean it. Aquila City is just crawling with crime. It's everywhere. And it's up to us rangers to do something about it. And ranger surveillance assistants. Someone's stealing guns and stuff from Laredo Arms. And none of the adults believe us. So we're hoping, you know, you can help us break it all open. Emily was right about you. I was doing my ranger patrol one night, and there was a suspicious character casing Laredo arms. I watched him as long as I could, but I had to rush home for bedtime. First thing in the morning, I came back and interrogated Justin Sneed. And he said they were tracking down an inventory discrepancy. I told him about the suspicious stranger, but Mr. Sneed didn't believe me. Exactly! This case was too big for just one ranger, so I deputized Emily. I'm an assistant ranger surveillance assistant. Or, um, something like that. And we found out that the thief breaks in most nights, but like, really late. He's got his own key card. We just need to catch him. Security will believe you. You're doing Aquila City a big service. Best I figure he's there around midnight. You need to wait for him to exit Laredo, then catch him red-handed. We need to bring him to justice.
be an easy job. What? Uh, shit. I, uh, yeah? I, I won't. Oh, God. This can be happening. Oh, God, no. Security. Everyone, don't move. Don't anybody move. Let's see. <laughs> if it ain't the hero of Galbang. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I... I... Hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? I kind of always thought she was a pest. But now... I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. And, uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never gonna let us hear the end of this. Play hard. That should be the free star mom. <gasps> Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Mom, I have to know. You've got him, right? Right? I knew it! Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait. So that's real? Of course, Mom. I told you. I... Um, she's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? I... Oh, boy. I... Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. Lord preserve me. Emily and I have big plans. Criminals, beware. I really don't understand why Weston can't rein in his brother a little. How much are we going to lose on this brewing nonsense? We only use robots for farming. Surely some of that tech we could patent. Well, there is. The stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelweet, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. Exactly. Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, 
His margins are tight enough he might be forced to throw in the towel. My husband put his foot down and hasn't risked our core business on this. If Henry loses money here, it'll only be from his pet project. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. Mr. Crowley. Heard that Ryujin Industries is hiring. I could use it. Been up there, huh? Space. Must be cool. Those Baroon zealots worship a snake. Let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. But if they think it is. Report any sightings immediately to United Colonies of Apologies are living things. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll go. We'll go. Just need to find a time. And we're barely a part of the Free Star Collective. Okay, hold up. So, Henry's new batch. How to go over? I know you like Henry, but... What? There's something wrong? 
Sam said it tasted off. Really off. Gladys said it was fine. Then she dumped her whole glass on the floor when she thought I wasn't looking. No, no. I don't think we should carry Henry's stuff anymore. Our regulars have stopped ordering his old stuff, too. Uh, I'll break the news to him. stuff with that boost pack. It's true. My husband runs one of the most successful businesses in the Free Star Club. A good business person shouldn't let their personal attachments become an obstacle to success. Something happened to Henry's beer? That's terrible. So terrible. But I'm sure I know nothing about it. Here's some credits for delivering the news. I expect that's the last I'll be seeing of you.
It. What? You think he's a spacer? He's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Lizama, UC Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm. I'm. Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor, Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. I'm a battlefield medic. So this, uh, outpost? Well, it's luxury accommodations. What the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. N no. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck.
Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. Are they all... gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Wait, you're serious? You did all of that? We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. And let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. I... I don't believe it.
You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? Huh. More UC bailing the FC out. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Give me a few years and I'd make you a Marine to be feared. <laughs> I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spacers. They went dark not too long ago. So hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You are a sight for sore eyes. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So. 
and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Roger. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. Doctors here, but besides one fence, no one can even hold a scalpel right.
any of them. You saved us. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. I'm just a botanist. Why? Why would the spacers... Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I... I believe it's a good one. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. <laughs> the only rest a Marine gets is in the grave. I concur with the Captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off their manpower. The Spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So, launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work.
Look around. Savor this. Moments like this are all too rare. The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. <sighs> Some things... you never get over. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. It's certainly earned. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Young. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. You see? I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair.